Good morning and happy Tuesday. Good morning. What day is it, buddy? It's Christmas Eve. It's not Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> not really, but it kind of feels like it because we put our tree up. Good morning, little babes. Good morning. Are you tired? I think we're all tired this morning. Last night we saw Moana too, and we got home really late. So, buddy. Um, so we're all a little bit tired this morning. So we have a lot of stuff that we have to do today. Hi. Hungry. <laughs> Hungry? Yeah, it is breakfast time. And then Tim and I have to run out and do a bunch of errands. We need to, I have to return some things that I bought for my birthday trip, my trip to New York that I never actually wore. And then we need to um, just run some other errands. We have to run to the post office. Fun stuff. Yes, baby. Yes, buddy. Yeah. What about, what a, to mommy? What are you doing? What are you saying to mommy? Mom! Mom! <laughs> Mommy, I am. I'm right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm a, I'm These kids are so cute in the morning. So we are in the car. We are uh, coming up to the Mall at Millennia. I'm, I've totally forgot that it's like people are probably doing holiday shopping. So Black Friday is on Friday. Today is Tuesday. But people have been like, the sales started so early this year. I feel like yeah. they start earlier and earlier and earlier. I like so, it because there's not like a specific day. I think companies have been like, all right, we'll just do it for a week. We'll get Black <laughs> Friday for a week. I think what it is too is they just, uh, like, people want to shop. Yeah. I think giving people the option to shop at different times, like not just Friday, is people are spending more money. So, um, but I also wonder like, are people spending more money this year? That's a good question. Yeah, so I know for us, like we, we're being very conscious of, you know, not going overboard. And that's, uh, it's hard when Jackson, <laughs> you know what it is? Amazon sent out their like gift, like book, their like wish list book. Um, I don't know if you guys got that in the mail, but it's this, it has everything. And of course he's like, oh, I wanna look through the book and circle what I want. And he circled everything. <laughs> so if it were up to Jackson, we'd go overboard. Well, but here's the other problem is I am very much trying to relive my childhood through Jackson. So like if it looks cool to me too, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get that for him <laughs> because it looks awesome. And so I'm the, it's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. <laughs> I think a lot of parents do that though too. So we did get him something very cool for his birthday, which is on Friday. His birthday's on Black Friday. We are still deciding if we're gonna do the trip to Nintendo World or if we're just gonna do something else. I would like to do the Nintendo trip, but um, we can't obviously do it on his birthday, so we gotta figure out dates and stuff like that. So for his actual birthday, we're just gonna have like a little family, you know, like a little get together uh, with cake and he asked for cupcakes. So we're gonna have cupcakes and a little a little fun family day at home, but of course his presence too. We also told him he's allowed to pick whatever he wants for lunch and dinner, so I think we're just gonna be eating pizza, breakfast, lunch, and dinner <laughs> that day. It's gonna be, he's, a, he's gonna ask for bacon for breakfast. Yeah, he loves bacon. That's it. And then pizza for lunch and dinner. So we're headed into the mall right now though. So here we are, we're going to the fancy mall, the fanciest of malls. Shake Shack. The mall at Millennia. All right, let's head in. So we pulled up and we're like, oh, the parking lot is so quiet looking. There's not very many cars here. The mall doesn't open till 11, it's 10.20. So that's why it's so quiet because it's not open. So yeah, so there you go. <laughs> we also have to go to Target. So I think we're gonna head to Target really fast and then we'll go to the mall. We're gonna rope drop the mall, baby. All right, it turns out they are open. You think people are going in and out, and in and out? They must be open. Let's see, it says holiday hours for November, let's say. It says 10. 10, all right, we did it. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, it's so much cushion. If you jumped and landed they're, on those. They're like heels, they're like high heels. Yeah, oh. but like with cushion. Interesting. With pillows of air. I gotta admit, shoes are getting like wilder and wilder looking, but not as wild as I thought they would be based on my like 80s movie reference material of what 2024 should look like, <laughs> right? Yeah. No, I guess not everywhere in the mall is open. So like Hollister's open, but like, Kids these days are really wearing like Tasmanian devil sweatshirts. That's amazing. Right? 
This Snoopy Snoopy sweater is pretty pretty cool though. I feel like this reminds me of a thrift store. Right? Like everything in this window looks like it was thrifted. Yeah. Is this what kids are wearing these days? I think so. Man, I wish I was around for these times. I think this is what we used to dress like. No, I don't think I ever wore a Tasmanian Devil sweatshirt. But it was available to us. It was time. available for me to wear a, a, a shirt with Bugs Bunny wearing baggy clothes on it. It was. <laughs> we gotta stop into Lululemon real quick because they have a Disney collection. This is the one that everybody likes. What is he supposed to be holding? Yeah, somebody said it looked like he was holding something. Looks like he was holding a flag or something. I will say. And he's like yelling into something or something. This, this feels like it was an iron on. Oh no. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's like a really thick graphic. Yeah. But it feels like they just ironed it onto the sweater. The sweater, the sweatshirt's nice. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'm a fan. This one's got cat hair or something on it, so. Oh no, somebody brought cat hair. <laughs> but like, yeah, they've got like a whole line of this stuff here. It is cool, yeah. I love this. So this is like um, embroidered. This is nice. Yeah, what about this gray sweatshirt? What's on there? Oh yeah, it's oh, the, the same. same one. Yeah. It just feels like a really thick, like it's gonna peel off. I'm sure it will. I don't think it will because that's like the shirts that we have. I don't like these shirts because that graphic gets really hot in the sun so it's like warmer when you have it what about this this is nice just got like the embroidered mickey on it. is there anything on the back oh that is nice oh it's rubber it's rubber oh and it says lululemon down the side and that feels it's like rubbery feel that oh yeah it's that's a full out rubber wow like graphic that's interesting huh. i do like it this is a fun print too yeah i like the uh i like this i like these yeah Oh, the little shorts too? Yeah, they're cute. Oh, and this has that same like rubber, but it's mini on there. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Oh, and fuzzy bucket hats. I kind of They're I in. I kind of like it. Can you try it on? Or I'll try uh, it. Is there another one? Oh, yeah. Is this the only one? There's got to be another. There's got to be another way. It's a little bit crooked. <laughs> is it? But there you go. How do I look? Yeah, you look like uh, like you're like hanging out in the 90s. I, honestly, it feels very warm. I think it'll keep your head warm. Oh yeah, there's like one shirt. Oh. What's on the back, anything? It's like how to draw Mickey. Oh, cool. Draw the rest of the owl. <laughs> Something beautiful, coming soon. <laughs> it has arrived. He told me to go away and then walk over to him. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> tell you that you're beautiful. You don't even know. That's true, and that's what makes me beautiful. Right. <laughs> Speaking of New York, we're gonna eat lunch at Sabaro. Oh, yeah, that's the only place I didn't go on my trip. Right? You know Do you think about? people, like, a lot of people went to it after that office episode? Maybe. I also didn't see a single Sabaro in New York. Oh. Not, not one. Really, we're gonna go over to California Pizza Kitchen. So we got our first thing in the appetizer. This is a avocado. It was an avocado club egg roll. Mm. So it's like bacon, cheese, avocado, chicken. Well, that's um, pretty good. And then there's some ranch, and I don't know what this is. What is it? Oh, spicy ranch. So close to you. <laughs> Look at this pizza. I got a barbecue chicken pizza. That's the best. So I got the Thai crunch salad, but I ordered it with the grilled avocado. It was supposed to be a grilled chili lime avocado. Mm. I think they forgot to grill it. Maybe taste it. Is it chili lime? It doesn't look like it is. <laughs> it's an avocado. Oh, well, there you go. We stopped by Journeys. Everywhere's playing Sia in this entire mall. People are going to get mad, but I feel like she's the new Christmas queen. And she's like Mariah Carey. Michael Buble. Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. You know what I'm thankful for? You. Oh, thank, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, I wish you could smell. I'm also thankful for you. Oh. But I wish you could smell this kitchen. We're making bacon. Jackson asked for bacon for lunch. It's actually lunchtime. So we did have breakfast. We hung around. We watched the parade. Yeah. We saw. What was your favorite part of the parade? I liked T Pain. Oh, I missed. I was upstairs when T Pain. Best. I know. Yeah. Dang. T Pain is a true performer. I wish that I had seen it, but I'm gonna. I'm sure I'll see clips of it online later. But I did like seeing Cynthia Erivo talking about. Uh, just I liked seeing her talk. I liked seeing the performance for uh, Death Becomes Her. I like that this, the whole thing is like showcasing the Broadway plays that are on right now, that are on Broadway right now. So we saw The Outsiders, we saw them perform from Hell's Kitchen, we saw them perform from 
like the Rockettes performed. I know that's not really Broadway, is it? I don't know. Uh, but it was cool. It was neat to see them yes. like performing. Yes. So I like that. So it's a little bit later. Our friend, we have a friend coming over who's gonna join us for dinner and he's gonna be here any second. <laughs> so I am making, uh, pretty much everything's gonna take about 30 minutes. So right now I'm gonna be making this French onion potato au gratin that I saw on TikTok or no, on Instagram. I'll link it down below, but it's, I hope, it sounds like it's gonna be really good. And then I have my, I have like a corn pudding that is in the oven right now. I'll link that recipe down below too, but it's just a Southern living recipe. It's like sugar, flour, baking powder, salt, eggs, milk, like a heavy cream, and uh, something <coughs> else. Oh, corn, corn. So yeah, and then you kind of mix it all together and you have a little corn pudding that you bake up and that's what's going on right now. I didn't realize that it takes so long for onions to caramelize or I would have done this part yesterday, to be honest, because it's gonna take like an hour for them to fully caramelize. And uh, you know, I didn't know that. So still working on that. This is like an onion and a half. It's been working for like 30-ish minutes now. And then I had already cut up my potatoes. So because I cut them up too soon, because I didn't realize this was gonna take so long, they're like turning. It's kind of like how an apple turns. So I uh, hope that's okay. <laughs> I just grated up my Gruyere. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll show you the process of this. But the beginning part was literally just caramelizing some onions, cutting up some potatoes. That's about it. All right, so it's finally time to make. I like how you said that in like the, the, the fast time on Mario played. I don't know. Like you're running out of time. I kind of am. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be really good. I hope this isn't too many layers. Do you think it will be? No, I think you got one more layer left. And then you just like coat it with cheese. Yeah. Oh no, okay, that's my cheat. That's my corn. So this, I didn't realize it. I think this has to be my last layer because I don't have any more sauce. So yeah. Well, that's okay. I think it'll be enough. I right, may not have showed you guys us making everything, but we totally made all of this from scratch. Uh. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I forgot the cranberry. Oh, the cranberry chutney that we made from scratch. Smoke these, this turkey. We've been smoking this turkey for six days now. I also forgot the, um, I bought like broccolini and carrots to roast and I didn't, I didn't do any of that. Hmm. Sorry. You did great though, because this actually was made from scratch. Yeah, and the potatoes, And the which, potatoes, which are still in the oven. I read the thing wrong. It had to cook for an hour and then another half an hour. So that, the potatoes had to cook for an hour and a half and I didn't plan for that. So they're still cooking. We'll have that second, like our second... Uh, so helping, we'll have those. All right, Thanksgiving is over. Well, it's not over. It's Can still... you tell that I fell asleep for a minute with Jackson? <laughs> you did. You guys were asleep. I didn't want to wake you guys up because you look so peaceful. But yeah. everything is cleaned up. I don't think I showed you the mess that we made, but it was just dishes everywhere. Even over here. It's so funny because, <laughs> like, we have, for the past couple of years, we have, like, not really cooked. We've kind of like ordered the food and then like reheated it. Yeah. And like it's it's more convenient because it takes less time, but at the same time it's still the same amount of mess. Oh man, yeah, it was so messy. Because like <laughs> we we went to Four Rivers and we got the stuff from Four Rivers and not everything. I did make you, a you couple did of make things. Two things. Yeah. Uh, but the like we still had to cook the like heat the turkey up in a thing like in a dish so that it had to be cleaned and then we had to like. All the sides had to be heated up in a pan. Yeah. It definitely did not alleviate the like dishes mess, but it, it was easier in the long run. It took a lot less time. And with two little kids, mm -hmm. I just like, I'm a fan of anything that takes less time. Yeah. And <laughs> but, they did eat some of it, which oh, I'm yeah. like proud of them for. Yeah, they did. I think because we were like, ooh, yum. They were like, I want that. So yeah. that, that did work out. But also I was nervous that the turkey was not going to be like very moist. I thought it was going to be dry and not very good. It was really good. Yeah. It ended up staying really moist. It is 
a flavor profile though. Yeah, it's a smoked it's, turkey. <laughs> it's barbecue. So, like, yeah, we yeah, had a, it we, tastes like barbecue. We had a barbecue Thanksgiving somewhat, but. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but we had a great time. Our friend came. He played Mario Kart with Jackson for a while, which was great because, or not Mario Kart. What is he playing now? He's playing Super Mario U Deluxe. <laughs> I'm like, Deluxe U. In Deluxe. my mind, every Mario game is Mario Kart. Yeah. So I just call everything Mario Kart, and Jackson's like, it's not Mario Kart, it's blah, blah, blah. And I can never remember what game he's playing. But speaking of games, yeah. Tomorrow is Jackson's birthday. So what are you doing? Let's go look. Yeah, I wanted to show you guys this. I'm actually, I'm editing the video for tomorrow right now so I don't have to work during his birthday. And uh, sorry you guys didn't get a, a video on Thanksgiving, but it was, it was a lot. So we took the day off. This. <gasps> what is that? This is Super Mario Odyssey. Ooh. So this oh, is geez. a game that he hasn't had yet. Um, we got him because he's five now. Oh, so this was oh. something that I was like, ooh, we should do this. He always wants bubble gum. He always wants bubble gum and popcorn. And popcorn we decided he could have because he, you know, he showed us that he could like chew it and not choke on it. And we're very, very careful when he eats it. But bubble gum was something that I'm like, no, you have to wait until you're five for bubble gum. Yeah. That's like they recommend because it's like, you know, it could be a choking hazard, but he's always like, when can I have bubble gum? And I looked it up and it said that when they're five, that's like, you know, when they recommend they can try it. So because he's five, we're gonna give him some bubble gum. And then he got a birthday Hot Wheels. Oh yeah. Which is fun, it's like a slice of cake. It's also like some of his favorite colors too, so. Yeah, I think he's really gonna like it. It's called Birthday Drifter. Birthday Burner. Birthday Burner. Yeah, I think he's gonna love that. This That'll be cute. It's number eight out of 10. How many other birthday there, things are It's like are celebration, there? it's oh, a celebration. celebration. But we're so excited. And then what's his big gift? This is a scooter, like a Razor scooter. So he has been uh, using his scooter that we got him. I want to say we got him the scooter before he was two, or maybe it was for his second birthday, but he's way too tall for it. Like now the baby could, Oliver could use it. He like, he's just, Jackson's way too tall for it. And we always see these kids in the neighborhood on these like electric scooters. This one is not electric. But he's always like, man, I want one of those. So this is kind of like the next step. This is a cool one. Some of you guys might know what this is. This is an Ambernick, like an Ambernick gaming console. So this is like a retro gaming console. It kind of looks like a Game Boy yeah, or like a... like a... This one looks like nothing else. This oh. almost looks like a PSP almost. Oh. But it's got like so many di different games on it. Like this is like... Donkey Kong Country 2, Yoshi's Cookie, Yoshi Safari, do, Mario's Woods. Ooh, do Dr. Mario. Tetris and Dr. Mario. Ooh, those are mine. I love those. It's weird though because they're old games, but they look like very uh, high definition. Ooh, heck yeah. Yeah. I don't think he's going to like this game, but has other games that he will like. Yeah. See, look at me. I'm playing Dr. Mario. Look at me! Oh, heck yeah. This is gonna be a game for Jackson, but when maybe when he's asleep, it'll be a game for daddy. You this jam? <laughs> I do. Something that's really funny is that recently, Jackson has been getting into video game music. So he, he really likes the music in certain levels of the games he's been playing. And so we found these like 8-bit like soundtracks on Spotify and Apple Music. And so he loves, what's the one he really Level likes? One. Oh, you did it? Me. You did it. What's the one that he really loves right now? He really likes um, songs from Super Mario 3. It's, he asked for like Toxic <laughs> Forest 3D, Super Mario 3D. Yeah, he likes Super Mario 3D. Yeah. Likes... I think he just really likes 8-bit music. That's what it seems like he likes. So, yeah. and then we found a Super Mario like lullaby playlist that was really good and Super Mario Lo-Fi, which was also really good. And the Mario theme just played with farts. Oh yeah, it's like Mario farts. <laughs> uh, anything fart sounds he loves. So, you know what we should get him is like a whoopee cushion. Oh, you know what? I, That's what we should have done. Really funny. You wanna hear a story about that? We go to the library and we find books for him. And one of the books that we found recently is about Christmas and how everything is poo themed. Mm -hmm. And so it's the Christmas poop is the name of the book, I think. <laughs> uh, Very Merry Christmas Poop. And 
the way that the book turns out is like everybody writes letters to Santa and is like, I want poop themed Christmas things. And Santa's like, Christmas isn't a time for poop. But Mrs. Claus is like, no, this is what the kids want. We got to do this. So she's like decorating the North Pole with poop. And like all the elves mm-hmm. are getting in. And like, uh, there's like so many poop things that happen. And then Santa's like, no, we should, this is not, Feliz Navi, don't. He says stuff like that. <laughs> and then by the end of it, he's like, that's it. This is my final word. And then he sits on a whoopee cushion. Oh. And it's funny and he laughs. And Jackson's like, what is that thing? I was like, oh, it's a whoopee cushion. It's like a, like a bag full of air that when you sit on it, like, <laughs> and he's like, we should get one of those. <laughs> and I was like, I'll see if I can find one. Because I don't know, do they make whoopee, whoopee yeah. cushions Yeah. Oh my gosh. Why didn't we Amazon that? Oh, because it was like yesterday. Oh, we should, so, that would like, have been so funny to have one, like, when he wakes up, if he, like, sits down in his chair, he has, like, his, you know, his chair at the table, and if it had, like, a whoopee cushion on it, that'd be I so know. funny. That's what I was thinking, too, but, like, yeah, <laughs> this all happened, there wasn't enough time. BRB, we're gonna go Amazon a whoopee cushion. Yeah, it'll be here for Christmas, for sure. <laughs> dump it all out there, but watch your toes now. You love it? Yeah. Oh, should we ride it? Yeah. We should? Let's do a test out. Yeah, let's test it. We gotta make sure it works. Let's see you do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's really speeding already. Whoa, there was a little bit of balance right there. That was good. All right, what do you got? This is a gift number two. Oh, yeah, it says happy birthday on there, Oliver. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh. Let's see. Uh, wait. Oliver, can you say happy birthday, Jackson? No, mommy. Mommy's it's not mommy's birthday, birthday anymore. It's it Jackson's birthday. birthday. <laughs> hey, oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. Fell right out. Push this button right here. Okay, wait, wait. Hold on, let me get you back to the beginning. I left my camera at home, so now we're recording on the phone. Uh, we are at Walt Disney World because we're going to play some arcades for Jackson's birthday. birthday. <laughs> That's right. So, so, we, so he loves going to the arcades whenever we stay at a Disney hotel. And so we thought, how cool would it be to go to a bunch of different arcades on the monorail loop? Yeah. Because then we could eat different snacks. We could see the holiday displays. Oh yeah, we can see the gingerbread houses. Yeah. And play arcade games. What do you think, buddy? And eat pizza. He said. Oh, he gave us a thumbs up. Let me see that thumbs up. <laughs> oh, two thumbs up. Whoa, that's a lot of thumbs up. We've made it to the transfer ticket and transportation center. There is a very merry Christmas party tonight, but it doesn't say that it's sold out. We could go. <laughs> We're not going to, but we could. We could, yeah, we could. First stop, monorail. We have to go over here to the resort hotel's monorail. Also, Jackson is wearing a, a Volcano Bay sweatshirt. We're at Walt Disney World. He's repping the other team. Oh, no. I just hope that both teams have fun. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, I do know. <laughs> and they do. <laughs> yeah. The first stop is the Polynesian, but we are going to go past that one. We're going to go over to the Grand Floridian first because we're going to get some lunch first at Gasparilla. Pass by the new tower. Open it up very soon. Still working on it. Man, Get, cutting it down to the wire over here. So well, as soon as we walked in, the first thing he said is that he wanted some pressed pennies. And these are, they're Grand Floridian pressed pennies. So they look like, what do they look like? Oh, like Goofy's in like an old timey car. M- Minnie's in her fancy dress. What is Donald? Donald's drinking a coconut? He's drinking a, yeah, a pina colada. A, a pineapple? <laughs> Wrong, wrong resort. What do we do with these? They get lost. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we used to have a huge Ziploc bag full of them. We need to get like one of those uh, books. Yeah. yeah. Adam has these books that he keeps in there. That's what we should, yeah, that's what we should do. How many did you get? Eight. Eight. Wow. What are you going to do with them? You don't know? <laughs> All right, so now they're just going to live in daddy's pocket. All right, so we're headed over to the gingerbread house first. Here's a look at some of the uh, sweet treats you can get. Ooh. 
I like the brownie pop. That looks yummy. Peppermint bark is always good. A gingerbread loaf. Wow. Did you see the cost of the gingerbread house? What? I better be able to live in it. All right, here's a look at the gingerbread house from like a little bird's eye view. We're on the, the second floor right now. We're headed over to get some lunch really quick. Jackson's hungry for pizza. All right, so we're gonna head and get a little lunch first and then we're gonna go check out the gingerbread house, the arcade, and- Yeah, he's, uh, gonna, he's gonna eat the whole gingerbread house. He's gonna eat the whole gingerbread house? Well, if the little tiny one is $95, how much do you think the big, huge one is? Ooh, let's do some <laughs> quick math. 95 I mean, times At least 600. 20. Oh, 600, oh my gosh. Well, yeah. I don't know if we can, do you think we can, $695? That's a lot of money, babe. I feel like it's gonna be more than that. I think so too. All right, here we go. I, you know what? I've always just called it Gasparilla Grill. I don't know that I've ever really noticed that it's called Gasparilla Island Grill. The island? Yeah. Is Gasparilla Island a real place? That's a great question. Hmm. It would be out near Tampa. Would it? Yeah, that's where the Gasparilla happens. The Pirate Festival. It's true. I always think about whenever we come here, we stayed in a room right over there. Yeah. Right in the corner and it was beautiful. It was back during the pandemic. So we got a really good deal on the room and it was a suite. We'll probably never do it again. The first day of uh, that the, that happily ever after return. Oh yeah, you got to go see the fireworks, but I got to watch the fireworks from the balcony. But I'll link those videos down below. It was beautiful. It was a lot of fun. I do have some like holiday treats here inside of Gasparilla. This let it snow cube seems very interesting to me. Pumpkin cranberry muffin. I saw somebody try that. Yeah, was it good? I think they did say it was good. Oh, well, there you go. What's the peppermint brownie pop? That looks good. We're gonna get our treats at the at the, the oh, hut. Yeah. So this is the holiday sandwich that we are, we're lucky to get today because it said that it was only available on Thanksgiving. Today's the day after Thanksgiving. So this is house smoked turkey, cornbread stuffing, cranberries, gravy down here. And then I don't know what this is, there's probably mayonnaise or something in there. I'm not really sure. Doesn't say, but yeah, I'm thinking probably mayonnaise in there. This was $12.99 and it came with chips. And then Jen got the, the turkey and brie sandwich. And that came with potato chips. Your house made potato chip. Look at this big like pillow, a, a pillow chip. So this turkey sandwich was $12.49 and it's got house smoked turkey, herbed aioli, brie, apples, and arugula on a ciabatta. Jackson got the cheese flatbread for his birthday with some chocolate milk. You like it? Oh. Got the cheese. Oh yeah, good, nice work. I'm proud of you cheese, for that. The kids crave. Yeah, let's try this. Look at this thing. This is like an impressive looking sandwich, isn't it? It's pretty big. Yeah, right? That's why it cost that extra 50 cents. Oh, it was it? It was $12.99, whereas yours was $12.49. Dad, could you give me some french fries? Yeah. For the birthday boy, anything. This is really good. It's a holiday sandwich, you know? Turkey, gravy, cranberry, stuffing, everything that goes well together. There's two you monorails, two monorails. Look, buddy, there are two monorails. Why doesn't anybody care about this? I do. I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> he asked for a napkin. He said, can I have a towel? <laughs> All right, first arcade, Arcadia Games. Pull it open big. Oh, we can go bowling. First game, Willy Crash. It's really busy in here. There's only one game that was free and it was this game. All right, so now, Fast and Furious. This one's free now too, the Daytona racing game. Now we're in the pits already. There's a very long line for the gingerbread house. And in years past over at Sandy Cove, they did have just the shingles you could buy. But we looked in there, not this year. So I think we'll have to get in line. All right, it's 1.15 and we got in line. Let's like see how long it see. takes us, <laughs> right? So we decided, I think me and Jackson are gonna share the peppermint bark and you're gonna get a shingle. I think so, yeah. I feel like after you wait in this line, you should just get the, tree, the, the house. Mm, for free. No, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, some of the details on the gingerbread house. There are a bunch of hidden Mickeys all around too. Not just the, the brown colored ones, but the I white ones. A and then there are all kinds of different themed Christmas trees 
around that are the different characters. So we can see uh, Tigger and Eeyore and Pooh, kind of. I don't know who needs to hear this, but an oven made out of gingerbread? Not gonna work. Here's the thing, I didn't quite realize that this $95 gingerbread house is made like they make it. You buy it like this. So you can display it and tell people that you built it. But also, where are they importing these gingerbread cookies from? This is a cute idea is to, it's an ornament made out of gingerbread. It says 2024, then you could eat it. Because there's a sign here that tells us what the ingredients are. 1,050 pounds of honey. It's so like majority of it is made out of honey. That's what the most, the biggest weight is, is honey also. Donald and Daisy down there. Mickey and Minnie over here. Goofy and Pluto up here. Making our way over to the Contemporary, just passing by Magic Kingdom right now. There's nobody there because today's a party night. We should go. Right? Jackson said he just wants to do arcades today though. Made it into the Contemporary. That goat's got too many legs. So we found a spot in the Contemporary to eat some treats. This is really good though. This Peppermint Park? Yeah, it's delicious. What do you think? Do you like it? Big thumbs up? Mm. How's your birthday going so far, Jackson? Good. Yeah? Got a gingerbread shingle. These are, I like, I'm not a huge fan of gingerbread, but I like them when they have the chocolate on the back. So, I'm not sure if this is Jackson's first time having gingerbread, but let's see. Have you ever had that before? No? <laughs> let, let mommy. What do you Mommy's think of it? That. You like it? Yeah? Different. Okay. I'm gonna try dada. You wanna eat me? No, can I try dada's? Oh, my, my m and cookie? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Next stop, the, the monorail is like right above us. Next stop, the game station. This is a big one and there's nobody in here either. I like this. Whoa, it's big. Oh, look, first thing, as soon as he walks in the door, he got a ball, he got a prize oh, already. It's that birthday luck. Right? Holy macaroni, look at that. <laughs> Put it in the bag, bud. Nice work. Look at all the racing games. Oh, they got duck here. ones too, look. Duck. You wanna to try to do the duck? Yeah. My little duck. Winner every time. We like that. Oh, they have like square ducks. Oh, you got oh, one. Oh, you got one. What is it? Pirate a duck. pirate duck. Wow. Cool, bud. Like what'd you win? What'd you win? A square duck. How cool is that? That is so silly. This, I think, is the best arcade at Disney. Yeah, this I think so, too. One. It's huge. Oh, my gosh. He was so excited for skee-ball. <laughs> he was so excited. He invented a new style of snowboarding. One foot off the one foot off. Look at him. He's like hanging 10. Like he's on a, a longboard in Hawaii. Also, they're snowboarding in the desert. We have four of these balls and like four of these ducks. So I understand why they put them right in the front of the arcade. Now we're making our way over towards their gingerbread house. Look at this. It looks like it, yeah. Wow, that's quite a gingerbread house, isn't it? Gingerbread castle, you would say. There's also Winterberry Freeze, Frozen Hot Cocoa, Joffrey's Coffee, Monterey. And then we've got cookies. Oh, you're more than welcome. Ooh. Oh, wait, let's hold on, buddy. Gingerbread so Mickey. House made Christmas tree butter cookies. Do you want to get one of those? Ooh, what's this one? Wait, Caramel apple good. cake and gingerbread streusel. Gingerbread Mickey cookie from the contemporary. A lincer cookie. And just like that, we're over at the Polynesian. There's this thing that Stitch attacks snacks. And for December, no, this is still November. Yeah, November. He's got a got a gingerbread cookie. It's cute, but look at his shirt. Oh, that's fun. This is actually really cute. I like it. I don't know why we didn't check this before coming out here. I just sort of assumed there was an arcade at the Polynesian. There's not. The only two arcades on the monorail loop are at the Contemporary and the Grand Floridian. So, glad we didn't come here first. There's also not a gingerbread house here. I don't know why I thought there was. This is, this is what's going on, Polynesian. No. We're back home. Wait, is this a new Super Mario 
good. I don't know. You have to open it. I think it is because I saw the back of it. Oh. I think it is because I saw the back of it. What is it? What does it say? Can you read it? It's Odyssey. I don't know. You have to read the Flip front. around the other side so you can see the front. Okay, yeah, Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> oh. What's so cool about this one? We don't have it. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Something about a hat. I've never played yeah, this what's, one. Yeah, what's the hat do? We don't know yet. Help, look at this. It's so silly. Oh, that is so like silly. Is a Goomba. Is a Goomba wearing a hat? Yeah. No, he's like, is he? Does he's that wearing mean? a Mario hat. Maybe that's oh. Mario. Maybe Mario transforms Ooh. into a Goomba. This looks cool, bud. And then you have one more present, but we can't open it until after we eat, okay? Why? Because it's a special one for after we eat. You're excited? Let's eat dinner. The new Hot Wheel. It's something else, what? even more special. Yeah. What's what that? It? What is it? That's it? Smell it. What is it? What does it smell like? So because bubble gum? it is bubble gum, because when can you have bubble gum? Oh, brother, this is so hard. It's hard? What? I thought you were going to yeah. like it. What's your new Hot Wheels? I thought you would want to try bubble gum because you can't have gum until you're five. So I thought you might like to try bubble gum now that you're five. Could I just try a teensy bit? Yeah. You want to try a little bite? Yeah. Okay. All right, Jackson. So you don't swallow this. Yeah, don't swallow it. Let me show you. So you're going to take it out. Can you go stand by your brother so I can take a picture of you guys? Big smile, Big Oliver. Big smile. Big smile. Cheese. Cheese. Look at mommy though. Look Over here. <laughs> okay. Alright. Are you so excited? You wanna take bite it in half? Yeah, maybe I bite it in half. It is pretty big. You chew it. You keep chewing it like this. Oh wait, 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 wait. He's like spitting it out. Um, where's the gum? Still in his mouth. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, yeah. okay. You just chew it like this. Watch. No. Oh. And watch mommy, watch mommy. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you got spit in your hand. <laughs> What's he doing? You don't like it? <clears throat> oh, you're gonna try more? You were just supposed to keep chewing that one piece. <laughs> oh, you're trying to blow a bubble. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, buddy. We gotta teach you how to blow a bubble. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jackson. Happy birthday to you. All right, Oliver, what do you think of Big Brother's cupcakes? Probably. Are they yummy? What did you think of your cup? Whoop. Good. Yeah. I came into the living room and I sat over here. I'm on the other side of the couch and he goes, oh man, you sat over there. I forgot to tell you guys we got a whoopee cushion. Yeah. We got yeah, a whoopee cushion. Whoopee. So it came after Jackson's like actual birthday. Today is the next day. Um, so we didn't get to give it to him for his birthday. We're trying to decide if we're going to give it to him for Christmas or we're just going to like use it on him like tomorrow. Yeah. I vote for tomorrow. Also, you ate pumpkin pie without me. What the heck? So you sit on it. Okay. These are Tim's new pants from Banana Republic. What do you guys think? I think they look cute. So that is hidden? Okay. Gotta move it more towards the middle. Okay, yeah. So then I sit down, I was like, oh, oh. Was like, oh man, it's a long day. <laughs> do it on do it on one of the chairs in the on at the table. We'll have to hide it obviously, but Oh, what a long day. I can't believe it. <laughs> Just gonna sit down here. <laughs> oh no, that didn't sound like a fart. <laughs> what did that sound like? It sounded like a dying whale. <laughs> oh no. Did oh. you did you sit on an animal? It sounded it weird. Sounds, I feel like Jackson's much lighter than me, so it'll probably like Really elongate the fart. Wait, do it. Put it back. Oh, you have to blow it back up. Blow it back up. Oh, oh dang we, it. We contemplated a self-inflating one. Why didn't we get that one? You told, told me not to. Why? And you said, I don't think we need all that. Those were <laughs> your exact words. Exact <laughs> that was a good gen. Okay, I'm going to try it. All right, let's see. I'm going to sit down. And you didn't do the whole stretch like a long oh, day. Oh, it's been such a long day. Oh. That's what happened? What? What did I do? 
<laughs> what? Man, that was so good. Oh, what did I do wrong? I don't know. Hold on, let me, let me reset it for you. Okay. Coming home. Oh my goodness, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> I think what Jack if Jackson did... woke up and was like, what's this noise downstairs? <laughs> it's it's so loud. Well. Okay, I think he's gonna love this. Um, I'm very excited. So I almost feel like this video should go up tomorrow so you guys can see his reaction. Right. Because it's also right now you don't know this, but it's 11:30 at night. Um. Yeah. So. 11:21. Probably this will go up tomorrow. Sorry, <laughs> sorry to leave you with the video without a video for a look couple at, of days. Look at the look at the aftermath. Oh, no. Whoa! It like curled up and died. It's like one it, of those. It's like those fish that you put in your hands, and it tells you your future. A what? I mean, those those fortune telling fish. Well, I'm no no idea what you're you talking ever about. Seen that? No. Where like it's like a piece of paper or something, and you put it in your hand, and if it like curls one way, you get like riches or something. Literally, like I've never heard of this, but can we get it? Yeah, it's <laughs> it's like a like a cheap parlor trick. Oh. It costs like five cents. I'll take 20, there you go. Right. my I'll good order, sir. <laughs> I'll order five more on Amazon, uh, along with a self-inflating whoopee cushion. Oh my goodness. We're going to have a joke shop pretty soon. <laughs> oh man, he's gonna, this is going to be so good. All right, let's do it. Also, I just want to show you how cozy everything is with the Christmas tree and the... Uh, the Whoopi pillows and the movie cushion. <laughs> no, but I love this tree. It's like so cozy. I love it so much. Oh, our tree skirt came in too, so I'll show them that. Oh no. So we were playing with like, we, Jackson won all these balls at the arcade and we've been throwing them around the house and now there's like all these pine needles everywhere oh, no. from the Christmas tree. But there's our Christmas skirt. I also just realized, I was like, I wonder why there's like so much of like a haze around the lights on the tree. Uh, earlier today, Oliver just like grabbed the camera off the table and was just like poking the lens and I forgot oh. to clean it. <laughs> so I think so, that was just some Oliver smudge. But I hope you guys had so much fun with this Thanksgiving birthday home vlog. We, um, I didn't film as much on Thanksgiving or for Jackson's birthday that I thought I was going to. We were just really like enjoying our time. Yeah. So, um, I can't believe we have a five-year-old. Right? Actually, I can believe we have a five-year-old because Jackson is so like not mature because he's five but like he just seems so much more grown up he seems older than five he does like he just he's is five and a half he's so he's so smart he really he can read like fully read mm -hmm. and that was something that we obviously like helped him with and he's learning a lot in school but um he also just like loves to learn like if he can't do something he wants to learn how to do it and he's very much like we were talking about telling time and I was like oh buddy he has these books they're like workbooks for kindergarten um one of them I think is like a first grade workbook but it was talking about the time telling time and, I, and he said oh what's this and I said oh that one's a little bit older for you buddy it's it might be something we do next year and he's like he's like well how, what is it how do you do it and so I you know explained how you tell time and we have like a a clock like a learning clock that you learn to tell time on and um he learned how to tell time. He knows how to tell time now. Yeah. And so I just think it's, I think it's really cool how he is so motivated by almost competition in a way. Like he's competing with himself. Right. If that makes sense. But he's very much, if you say to him like, oh, that's something that you would learn maybe like next year. He's like, I'm going to learn it right now. Yeah. And I think that that's kind of like a cool trait that he has. It is getting harder though, because <laughs> he asks questions that I don't have the answer to. One of which today was like, he's like, he goes, do all reindeer fly? And I was like, well, no, just Santa's reindeer. And he's like, how? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, he definitely has some questions that, uh, you know, he, he's just very smart. <laughs> I, I feel like I never asked how reindeer or how Santa's reindeer fly <laughs> when I was a kid. I was just like, yeah, that happens. <laughs> And they, by the way, if you guys are wondering, they have, they eat special magic reindeer food. Oh yeah. We Googled, and, we Googled it. And also the, the specific reindeer that Santa has have, um, a spe specific type of fur. Hollow bones. Yeah. No, the birds. No, they, uh, <laughs> they have a specific type of fur that when the air goes across it, it fluffs up and through aerodynamics and lift 
like the like I airplane I, wings. I think I like the bone thing better. Yeah, it's just they got <laughs> they got crazy bones. <laughs> but there, <laughs> one time, <laughs> one time we were at Disney Springs and we went to Wonder Maid, the the uh, marshmallow. I almost said donut. I'm like they don't make donuts, but the yeah. marshmallow place. And we we love Wonder Maid marshmallows. We they have a store in Sanford and they have really good ice cream and marshmallows and all kinds of stuff. But uh, we were talking to the guy. I think he was like the Wonder Maid guy. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Mr. Wonder Maid. We were talking to him and we were, you know, we were getting some marshmallows and it was Christmas time and we were talking about Jackson and I don't remember why he said it, but he said, oh yeah, kids got those crazy bones. And we were like, what? It wasn't, we weren't talking about bones at all. <laughs> it was just something we were talking about Jackson, like being a, a little kid. He, he was, yeah. he was like, oh, how old's your son? And we were like, oh, he's two. And he's like, oh, they got those crazy bones. And so now we say that all the time. <laughs> we talk, Talking about crazy bones. We say, like, anything, anytime anything happens, we say, oh, the kids got those crazy bones. Yeah. And it's just funny. So um, that's what this, this, so this reindeer have those crazy bones right now. Thank you. Thank you, Wonder Maid Man. You gave us thank a... Thank you, Wonder Man. <laughs> Wonder Man. <laughs> you gave us something that we quote nonstop. But yeah, I think it's really cool that we have a five-year-old. And I think Jackson is a really cool kid. And uh, he's he's just so, he's doing great. Yeah, and he is getting better at his scooter already. Oh yeah, he already is like riding the scooter, balancing like on his own. So yeah. that's pretty cool because the last scooter that he had was three wheels. So. You know what? This is This is another example of when he's in competition with himself. After we took the scooter out for the first time, I go, buddy, you know that when you get better, there are some kids that are so good at riding scooter, they can do this thing where they do like a... They like spin the scooter around. He goes, oh, and he tries to do it. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, no, you, you have to like learn how to ride the scooter first. And he goes, well, why'd you tell me about this? <laughs> and I'm like, I thought you would think it was cool. He goes, I want to do it now. And I was like, oh no, I'm sorry. He's like, he's just so funny. I know everybody thinks their kids are like so smart and so funny, but like, I really genuinely think that Jackson is so smart and so funny. So, I don't know. We have a cool kid. I'm very hey, cool kid. I'm very happy about it. And uh, um, I'm just, I don't know. I'm, I'm very proud of him. I'm like very happy to be his mom, you know? Oh, that was yeah, nice. I am. But, uh, but yeah, I think we have some pretty cool kids. And I love them a lot. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> so. Um, so, Jackson had a happy birthday. We had a really fun day together. He got to pick out everything that he did. We're still going to do like an actual celebration for his birthday, but this was just like a, we're going to go do something special for the day, spend the day. Oliver wasn't with us, so we were able to really spend some time with Jackson, and I think he really enjoyed that. Yeah. And I think that that's something that I, I would like to continue to do for both of them, just give them alone time with us. And yeah, I don't know. It was, it was great. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. So... so we hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us for these yes. past few days. Thank you. And I'm going to insert a clip at the end of Jackson, us surprising him with the, with the whoopee cushion. Yeah. So, so stay tuned for that. The video is yeah. not over. But it's over now. Okay. So all in all, it was a fantastic day. And with that being said, we're off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price. All right. It's the next morning. We're headed it's downstairs. A surprise. That's a bit of a surprise. But have I seen it before? You've never seen it before. I guess you have seen it before. It's a surprise. Hmm. All right. So you sit down over here at the table, and I'll bring it out, okay? So sit right in your chair. No, no, no. Sit right in your chair. No, no, in your chair. Right on, right on top of that. Right there. Sit right there. Okay, yeah, this is the airbrush. <laughs> no, it didn't quite work. Sit on it. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. Alright, Jackson's gonna try again. Hold on. Let's see what happens. Oh! <laughs> it was such a little toot. The thing that we're learning is this has to be on an extremely hard surface. So sit on it now, Jackson. <laughs> you guys blow it up again? Yeah, go ahead. Found a little secret to the whoopee cushion. And that is when I was trying to, like, I was blowing it up and sitting on it, it was uh, brand new and sticky at the valve. Now that Jackson's been blowing it up, when kids blow things up, they use a lot of spit to blow things up. It's just the nature of the beast. And so it is easier now for the air to come out because the inside section where the air needs to 
flap out of is a little bit wet. So it's not sticking as much. It's still closing, but it's not sticking as much. So there's your secret. Get the end of the straw like a little bit wet, get it inside of there, then blow it up, then sit on it. And it should work better, maybe. I don't know. I'm not an expert on whoopee cushions. I'm not a whoopee cushion expert.